Ah, Canada. The country that brought us maple syrup, moose, mounties, hockey, and now tennis. What's up, Tweener Heads? Welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, hi, I'm Phil. This is where we talk about tennis in a less casual way. And today we have a new video to, for you guys, and we're going to be talking about how Canada is now going to take over the tennis world. Well, I wouldn't say completely taking over, but Canada is the next powerhouse in the tennis world, and there's three people that are leading that charge. We have Denis Shapovalov, Shapovalov, uh, however you pronounce it, uh, Felix Allier Adjouassin, let's just go with FAA, <laughs> and then the lovely 18 year old Bianca Andrescu, who is just making her splash everywhere on the WTA Tour. Canada has had previous champions. You've had Jeannie Bouchard, you've had Milos Raonic, and both of them are still having a great career on their on their respective tours. But right now, these three teenagers, yes, teenagers, Bianca's 18, Felix is 18, and Dennis is still 19, even though all three of them seem like they're playing in their mid-20s because they're just that good. It's crazy to think about how these guys are still and have the possibility of dominating their tours at such a young age like this is the wave that we've been looking for and that we can compare to when it comes to the rogers the rafas the even the boris beckers when he was 16 he won wimbledon it's like that caliber of talent when you're at that age is just unbelievable and it's something that we've been looking for as a tennis community for so long that I'm very excited to see what they can do in the future. If we take a look at some of these, their results, I mean, Dennis had his, we'll start with Dennis. Dennis has been around for some time, the past couple years after he had that magical run at the ATP 1000 Masters, where he beat Nadal, he beat all these players, and that's where he made his first mark on tour. And ever since then, he's still been doing pretty well. He's still been making a name for himself. I mean, he has the best one-hander, probably on tour behind Roger and Wadranka, and for a lefty, I mean, that's just unreal. Much better than anything I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, in 2019, he's already made the quarterfinals of Rotterdam, uh, the Open in the south of France. He made the round of 32 at the Australian Open where he lost to Novak Djokovic, and I'm not complaining about that. He lost to Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic did really well in the tournament, if you didn't notice. He's been doing great this year and he's had some decline last year he didn't seem to fulfill his potential but for god's sakes he's 19 years old give him a break <laughs> it's it's crazy and then we then we have felix felix i don't know how to describe felix felix is 18 and he plays like he's been on tour since he was like 12 because he's been playing so long i mean he's so good he's so talented so much power at such a young age and i mean it, let's look at his 2019 record. He's made the finals of Rio. He made the quarterfinals in Sao Paulo. And he went from playing on clay in South America to playing Indian Wells. Now he's playing in the round of 32 against Nishioka. And he's already beaten Sissipas, who is supposedly the next player to come up in the tour. And he's already top 10 in the world. And his first top 10 in the world match that he played, he lost to Felix. And Felix played out of his mind, in my in my perspective. Felix hasn't even played two out of the four majors. He's 18, but he still hasn't played two out of the four majors, and he's already making great strides. He's already 55 in the world as of right now, and he's not going to be, and he's not going to qualify for these majors. He's going to get straight into the main draws. At 18, he's already making the biggest strides that I've ever seen. It's awesome. I love it. Good job, Canada. You're doing really well. The third person that's making this charge, Bianca Andrescu. Now, at 18 years old, she's already won this year. She already won a WTA 125K in Newport, California, and she's already made the semifinals in Mexico, where she lost to Sofia Keenan. She made the finals in Auckland, New Zealand, where she lost to Julia Gerges, and she won through qualifiers in Australia and then made it to the round of 64, where she unfortunately lost, but she's 18. Give her a break. And right now she's still in the Indian Wells tournament, which is unbelievable for her because she's probably going to make it, I think, at least to the quarterfinals. And I want to see her do well because even Jeannie Bouchard said that she wants Bianca to take over for her as Canada's number one star. And I, I tend to agree with her in some sense, uh, but who knows at this point? I mean, Bianca is already the star of Canada. Jeannie's kind of in the backseat now. She's out of the limelight after her 
unbelievable runs in the past, but now it's Bianca's turn to step up for Canada and she's doing a really good job with that. Now, before I end this video, I wanna mention three people that some people may not have heard of, but I wanna start with Braden Schnur, who's 23 years old. He made the finals of the New York Open where he lost to Riley Opelka. He's 23. He played for UNC, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. He's doing really well, and this might be his year to break out. I mean, with the final already in his bag, I think he's definitely a guy to look out for, especially in 2019. He's got a, a while to go. He's 23. That's still young. We're the same age, and he still has a lot of career to fulfill. So keep an eye out for him, especially from Canada. And two women that I, that I think will make great strides is Francois Abanda, who's 22 years old. She's already played for the Canadian Fed Cup team. She's in the low, low 200s, as well as Catherine Seba, who turned pro in 2016, who's 20 years old, and she's already around the same rankings as Abanda. And those two will definitely probably be in the top 200 by the end of this year, and both of them are in their early 20s. Actually, Seba just turned 20, so let's see how they do in the next couple months, especially on the WTA Tour. I would love to see them do well, and I would love to see more Canadians in that top 50 spot on the WTA tour. Now, if I'm missing anyone, please let me know. I would love for you guys to comment down below. I wanna hear your thoughts of what other countries I should make a video about, what other players are making their way onto the top 50 spots on the ATP or WTA tours. So leave a comment down below. Also leave a big like on this video if you did enjoy it. Let's try to get this video to 10 likes. If you guys do enjoy this content, make sure you're also subscribed to Tweenerhead Tennis. That way you don't miss any new videos that we're making on this channel. Make sure to check us out on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and check us out behind the scenes at tweenerheadtennis.com for cool merchandise and behind the scenes articles. So I hope all of you are well. I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks guys.